elevator music. Nah, Tito. No elevator music here, dog. Happy Sunday, everybody. Brownie Sunday. Woo! Go Browns. <laughs> We feeding live. You guys got sound. You got video on your side. Hopefully, it's it's good. It says it's running. We get a little feedback here. Let me know audio, video. Yeah, what up, Caleb? Yeah, what up, y'all? You transport at the speed of five G. <laughs> nice. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. What's up, Ryan? What's happening, brother? Hey, Barry, good to see you, man. Barry made it over from the Patreon live stream. Doing some network testing. We're going to hit some apartment complexes today. We're going to test capacity. Let me know how my sound is. I'm going with the AirPods today and uh, streaming on the iPhone via Verizon. Let me know how that's feeding and uh, picture quality, audio quality, any glitching, that sort of thing. Uh, we're probably about a half a mile away from our first testing site. Pretty close. Waiting for y'all to come in. Give this video a like as you're working your way into the live stream. Sounds and looks good. Excellent. Thanks, you know. Appreciate you, Mike. Yeah, buddy. Sucks being me. I'm on COVID-19 lockdown because I have the whole team of Wednesday test. Bro, I wish you a speedy recovery, man. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. All very common. Driving around to show that big red is the king. I don't know, Alex. I mean, there. look, man, when it comes to coverage, I don't think Verizon, you know, can be beat. But uh, the market share is definitely taking a hefty toll on the capacity of the network. So their densification is real important of what they do. Hey, Vic, Jared, good to see you guys. Troy. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. You called me the goat, man. I don't know about all that, bro. Thank you. Uh, but, uh, T-Mobile down payments are ridiculous. Yeah, it's a lot different than the way that Sprint did their thing. <laughs> hey, Kimon, if you're still here, Sebi. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Hey, Christopher. Oh, they definitely are, Roy, 100%. Hey, Sebi. Ian, good to see you. Control is good. I had to manually switch from 144. That's your provider, man. They got you default in the 140p. All right, awesome, Aaron P. Thank you. Video could be better. Hopefully it's good. Streaming at 720p. All right. Verizon's 5G sucks where I live. We have full bars of 5G. 20 ain't bad, but yeah, it's low band most cases. DSS, can't wait to see what Verizon does with C-band. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement around the C-band situation. A lot of new spectrum coming to market, man. Get excited, y'all. Good video on my end. Okay, good. Uh, do me a favor, guys. You're coming in. Give this video a like. Share it to your socials if you got Twitter, Instagram, Whatever. Any any type of Reddits except for the T Mobile subreddit. You don't have to share it there. In fact, I prefer you don't. <laughs> that toxic dump for the T Mobile subreddit. Oh yeah. Video is good. Audio is good. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate it, Subby. Thanks for the feedback, brother. Yeah. Yeah, we're just at this light. I'm real close to the testing site. We're we're almost there. Uh we're gonna test Three apartment complexes. Uh, we're going to test three networks. We got the uh, Verizon consumer line. It's the 2017 new Verizon Unlimited on my Moto Edge Plus. Then we have the S20 Plus for the T-Mobile Business Magenta. And then we have the AT&T on the Google Pixel 5. And that is the AT&T Business Elite. Of the Google Pixel 5. I just have a really terrible driver in front of me, so I'm trying to get where I need to go. AT&T's 5G is pretty good. Yeah, it is pretty good. 
I mean, all my, all the five Gs are pretty good. I, I mean, I get pretty good results from the DSS five G. I mean, it's not always the best. Sometimes the LTE version is faster and stuff. I don't know. It's mixed. I'm not really into DSS right now. It's not really my shag. Uh, hasn't done much for too many people. Some people claim it's it's helped them, so that's good. You know, but DSS in its current iteration, it's it's got a long way to go. Yeah. It's helping some people. You know, I've seen speed tests. You know, I know Lawrence has reported some good results, stuff like that. All right, so I've got a couple of tower sites over here at this apartment complex. This apartment complex around me is massive. Uh, there may be about 15 buildings. And then there's multiple different property management ownership groups. So it's like tons and tons of capacity needs here. Anyways, I want to give you guys a view as to the tower sites that are around here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys. There's two sites up there. Looks like a um, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile scenario. Looks like N41 could be up there. And then there's an apartment over there. There's complexes all over the place. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be a good test of capacity. Uh, let me just find a cozy place to, to park up. As people literally don't know how to drive, just get out of the way, people. Thank you. Just get out of the way. We got, you know, speed with Sneed going on. Y'all got to respect and recognize. I ain't here to play games. I'm here to test networks. You feel me? You know? Seriously, bro. These people are tripping out here, dog. All right. So that looks like a good place here. All right. So uh, we'll run our first round of testing right here. Should be a pretty good measure. We'll take a look at signal strength, RSRP, you know, those different types of metrics here. All right, so we've got three different phones, three different networks. The AT&T, we'll, we'll keep it here for the duration of the testing. AT&T, Business Elite on the Google Pixel 5. T-Mobile, Business Magenta, S20+. Plus. And then we have the Verizon New Verizon Limited 2017 Moto Edge Plus. We'll go ahead and run our first round of testing. Uh, signal strength looks pretty good. AT&T looks strong. T-Mobile, we're in 5G, looks strong. Let's see if we can get into focus here. And then the Verizon also in 5G. Uh, this is giving me a hard time here. And I think my suspicion was correct. We are probably connected to N41 for T-Mobile. All right, now this is going to prove some things that I've been noticing for the last several months. All right, so here's AT&T. We've got a good ping of about 17 millisecond, low jitter, 4 millisecond, 44 on the down, 10 on the up. Those are pretty good, All right? I don't see any problems with that. Uh, shouldn't be an issue. Not the fastest, but it's good. Here's the T-Mobile. You see um, pings look pretty good. 19 millisecond, 17 millisecond jitter. 309 on the down, 46 on the up. No uh, packet loss. That's always good. All right, here's the Verizon. 26 millisecond ping, 87 millisecond jitter. 10 on the down, 44 on the up. So... Uh, the downlink capacity here, the winner is T-Mobile with N41. I would assume it's N41. Uh, let's go ahead and check. And we have N41. 60 megahertz of N41. All right. So, you know, that's what that's what I'm getting. From T-Mobile on N41. I know people post a lot of pictures, screenshots, getting like 700 megabits. Not here. It's not happening. Uh, I think the backhaul upgrades leave a lot to be desired. Let's go ahead and run the test one more time. You can see Verizon's dealing with some congestion issues there, 100%. Uh, you know what? Actually, let me go ahead and reset everything. I'm going to airplane mode it all, just in case. You never know. Uh, I'll just flash airplane mode for all this. You never know, stuff could get funny. Hey, 
Thanks for sharing uh, the video, y'all. I appreciate it very much. All right, Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T. Yeah, you can see Verizon's testing a lot better now. Had that momentary data management. I had like 10 megabits before, 9, 10 megabits, so faster now. But, you know, clearly there's some restrictions there. They have to manage the network pretty aggressively. Uh, let's actually see if we're still connected to N41 here. Now it's on N71. Here's another thing that I'm seeing with T-Mobile's 5G. I don't know. It, it prefers N71. I, I don't know why. Um, I'll reset the connection again and see if it'll come back to N41. I, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. N71. I have no clue what the business is there. Now it won't connect to N41. That's another problem I'm seeing around these parts. All right, so Verizon, uh, we have 26 millisecond ping. Three millisecond jitter, 29 on the down, 48 on the up. AT&T, uh, 19 millisecond ping, six millisecond jitter, 37 on the down, nine on the up. And they're getting into focus. 15 millisecond ping, one millisecond jitter for T-Mobile. 101 on the down, 50 on the up. Uplinks are really nice from... T-Mobile and Verizon downlinks are fine. I, you know, T-Mobile's got the capacity here, obviously very fast. The market share is the trouble. Uh, a lot of people have Verizon and AT&T in the CLE. It's a big time marketplace for those two companies. T-Mobile a little bit less, but I think that's going to change as the network capacity. You know, somebody's going to probably be like, you know, maybe Verizon's not fast enough for me. Let me try T-Mobile, you know, and with the pricing being attractive, you know, it's worth their consideration. So yeah, I have no idea why, you know, this N71 situation, I really, okay, I switched back to N41. Let's go ahead and speed test it now that it's on N41. Should be really fast this time around. Should be. Or not. <laughs> Oh, nice, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate you letting me know. It's interesting. Disconnected. N41. It's connecting to band two. Yeah, maybe I'll switch servers. Not a good showing there. I mean... Uh, let's see if we can change the server. Let's go to the T-Mobile server 12 miles away. Manly, thanks for the donation, man. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Yep, look like a server issue. Those are better. <laughs> nice, good capacity, 300 plus megabits. I don't know what's up with the ping, though. I've noticed that about the ping on N41. It's not great. Uh, downlink speed is pretty good there. I'm having a really hard time with the iPhone focusing today. 387 on the down. Looks like 83 on the up. That's pretty good. Ping dropped, or uh, ping increased. That's bad. 66 millisecond and then 29 on the jitter. Uh, T-Mobile, the fastest one here. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Manly. I appreciate you, man. All right, let's go ahead. So, all right, at this uh, at this particular apartment complex, this set of apartments, uh, T-Mobile's got the capacity. They were wise to put N41 here pretty quick. Hey, Adam. I would expect T-Mobile to put N41 pretty much anywhere near apartments, anywhere near shopping centers, whatever tower sites are close by, they should be getting those upgrades. That'll help out a lot. Because basically, the, the moment they, they put N41 on these sites, it's like instant 300 megabits per second for customers. 
even without upgrade to backhaul. If they upgrade backhaul, I mean, those numbers increase exponentially. They, they double, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I, I love what N41 can do for capacity. I wouldn't call it ultra capacity like they do, but, you know, it's, it's definitely bringing a lot of capacity. Not millimeter wave, but still really good. Uh, you can see Verizon's not that fast. That's that's my experience, man. Total amount of N41. What do you mean total amount? And I mean, what? How how do I measure the amount? You mean like megahertz? The bandwidth is like sixty megahertz. Uh, the amount, I don't know. I've tested like fifteen or twenty sites, maybe. So, and that's just a small percentage of them. So. Total megahertz earned, yeah, sixty megahertz. Well, that's what they're that's what they're deploying. I don't know if they have more than that. Total amount that T-Mobile has on the scene. I don't, I don't know how to measure it that way. I don't know what that means. Maybe fifteen, twenty sites, maybe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, C-band's gonna be huge. That's right, Ron. No device connected. Oh, Say on. the line number of the device you want to connect. Not the fastest big red. They just work. Yeah, I don't have. So like, okay, you run a speed test with Verizon, right? You get 29 megabits down. You get 48 up. It's not going to be a problem on any level. You're going to stream full HD. You know, uh, the uplink is great. You can live stream. You know, the, your your video is never going to buffer. You know, you could download apps with that. I mean, run apps, gaming, you could do whatever you need. Uh, the the AT and T was thirty seven by nine. Same thing. You won't have any issues. See, the the interesting thing is, the speed tests are great for T Mobile, but they, and Verizon does this too. They aggressively throttle down video res. It's freaking annoying. So, I pay for the ten. I pay the ten dollars for the ultra wideband upgrade on my old Verizon plan, and it gives me. 10 megabit per second towards video res. So I upgraded to that. So that way I could, um, you know, have the full HD video. There's another N41 set up here I could test. Uh, we'll go and test over there. Uh, there's another set of apartment complexes. Huge. I mean, the number of apartments over here is just crazy. It's in this part of the CLE. It's like everybody wants to live over here. <laughs> yeah, we'll test it. But T-Mobile's smart. They're they're literally putting N41 wherever there's apartments and shopping centers like with Walmarts and Targets and stuff like that. Wise to do so. We'll see if they actually fix this N41 site. I tested it a few weeks ago. We'll see if it's any better today. How much band 41 does T-Mobile on this CLE? Thanks, Josh. Appreciate you. CLE has 186 megahertz of N41. That's a lot. That's great. Thanks. Appreciate it, uh, Tyrone. Thank you. It is a lot. It'd be wise to get it going. Yeah, once they go stand alone, you know, they can really widen those channels and aggregate bands and all that. It's going to be great. Yeah, this is a big time site. They just built it. T Mobile, just, they're the only one on this monopole, too. We'll be able to see it once I can get to the testing area. All right, so this, uh, this apartment complex over here is called the Islander. There are probably, I don't know, two or three hundred apartment complexes here. I don't know where the Verizon site is. I don't know where the AT&T site is. I can see the T-Mobile site. Yeah, Spectrum Omega is a good uh, resource. Give you guys a view of these apartments real quick. Hey, Firewolf Studios, what's up, man? All right, so there's probably like 15 sets of these apartments like this. All right, across the little pond there, buildings everywhere. 
All right, they're all back there. Yeah, this is a true test of capacity. I've never tested over here. My friend actually used to live over here. Uh, he used to live in this apartment complex. Let's go out and pull in and test. Test at the playground. All right, so we got AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon. Get them started here. There we go. This is N41, or it should be. Uh, this tower site's like a quarter mile away, maybe. Come on, guys. All right, we're running this test. Let me know if the stream is okay. All right, so AT&T, 20 millisecond ping, 73 down, 11 on the up. That's pretty good. I like both those metrics. That'll both work. Uh, the downlink is very good. The uplink is very serviceable. Should have no issues doing anything there. Here's T-Mobile, 44 millisecond ping, 9 jitter, 195 down, 103 up. That downlink is very good. The uplink is tremendous. I mean, very rarely do you see an uplink that fast. That's really impressive. And then here's Verizon. Very good as well. 46 megabit per second down, 53 up, 24 ping, and 2 millisecond jitter. All right. Now, what I want to do is, because I can access the bands here, confirm that it is N41 and... Uh, Just pop out of 5G. Huh. That's interesting. I don't see it anymore. Okay, well. We'll get this thing started. It says 5G here, but I don't know if it's N71 or if it's N41. We'll see. Yeah, I thought I saw N71 also, but yeah, and 71. I'm really surprised that I'm like a quarter mile away and I'm not connected to the N41 site. Why it's not connecting N41. They better figure it out. Anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and run a fast.com. We'll do the same thing for Verizon. Run a fast.com for all the carriers. There's AT&T, fast.com. There's T-Mobile. What's going on over here? AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon. Uh, let's go to more. All right, uplink 7.9, uplink 85. So T-Mobile is willing to give you all the uplink you need, <laughs> but they won't give you the downlink for the video. 21 for Verizon. Yeah. Yep. You can see the, uh, the video throttling is aggressive here for T-Mobile. I hate video throttling, guys. I don't think you understand. It's freaking annoying. All right, so uh, each carrier looks like it's holding its own. I mean, look, they're holding up pretty good. Those are those are fine. Those are really good. That's really good. That's really good. All right, so far the carriers are doing enough. Customers are hanging in there. Let's go ahead and test another apartment site. T-Mobile for the mid-band one again. Come on. Caleb, you're going to come in here and start bragging about this whole mid-band situation. <laughs> Yo, Caleb, I heard you got some nice gifts, man. 
Somebody gifted you a bunch of stuff. Is that true? The little birdie told me. All right, let's see if we can test another side here. I just don't understand why it wouldn't connect to band 41. I mean, look, guys, it's right there. Yeah, YouTube has been crap. The tower site's right there, and it won't connect to M41. I have no idea why not. Let's see if it connects now. I mean, I'm probably... I don't know, a thousand feet away. I have no idea why this is happening. I don't know why. I mean, what the hell? I want to connect to N41. And 71. It's freaking crazy. I mean, look how close we are and it won't connect. That site is confirmed on 41. No idea why. I mean, the uplink is tremendous, but where is the down, man? Let's connect to N41. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. Hey, Bryce, what's going on, man? Uplink's cool, though. <laughs> On to the next apartment complex, y'all. Necessity special today. We'll see which networks hold up. Use the Nest Twin Ultra. Hey, Apple. Bro, my last, like, three live streams have been a pain, bro. The YouTube app has been really, really painful. I don't have issues when I'm streaming on on my desktop. It's, it's, it's mobility, bro. It's almost like it's the app. Because I stream using OBS on my desktop or StreamYard. I don't have any trouble. Uh, the only time I have trouble is when I'm using the actual app. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, it's, it's been like this for like, probably my last three live streams when I've been mobile. Can you please test band N78? Where do they have that at? I ain't going to Cedar Point, dude. It's like an hour away. It's at least 45 miles.
Europe. <laughs> cool, bro. I'll, I'll get right on that. I'll hop a flight over to Europe and go do some N78 testing for you, dog. <laughs> What up, Lawrence? He needs time machines. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool, dude. I could just uh, teleport wherever I need to go. Oh, more N41. Let's see if that thing's connected. No, nope, that's not N41 connected. Oh. oh, it is N41 connected. All right. We got another N41 site. But uh, you guys aren't going to be happy with the speeds. All right. I just connected to an N41 site on the freeway. And that's what it's getting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, people show me screenshots and pictures speed test n41 getting 700 megabits i've never even come close i get 150 250 350 that's like the best one time i got 500 i don't i don't see what people see man not here there's your n41 dog i don't know i don't know what What up, Sebs? Copper back hole. Yeah, it sucks. What is all this traffic? It's freaking Sunday. Freaking annoying. Get out of the freaking way. Sorry, guys. I timed out the screen. My bad. People are annoying. They drive like morons. Get out of the way. Sneed's doing speed with Sneed. Feel me? Yo. Bro, like, the, they're all going, like, 48 miles an hour on the freeway. Like, where do they do that at? It's not too much traffic, really, bro. It's just people driving like idiots. Like, oh, the speed limit's 35. Let's go 17. You know? Oh, the speed limit's 60. Let's go 43. It's absurd. Fastest speed I ever got on LTE, probably 500 megabits on CBRS. Yeah, maybe you're right, dude. What up, John? How you doing, bro? Well, let's hop off the freeway. I know there's some apartments up here. Chaim, what up? Yeah, I think my fastest speed. So I, I did an N41 test that got me like 500. And I did a CBRS test once. I think it got me like 500. 
both were like 60 megahertz of it. Let's see if this tower site got N41 yet. Nope, this site's on N71. I'm surprised it didn't get N41 yet. It's probably due for that. It's probably going to get an upgrade soon. I'll show you guys this one. Pretty stacked from all the carriers. Actually, let's go this way. Oh, snap. We got 85 in the live. What up, yo? Are we counting LA as LT? Yep. That's right. That's all LT, isn't it? I think my fastest on uh, band 46, probably like four something. Oh, snap. Try more of the S21. Oh, snap. The cellular king. Oh, God. Here we go again. Traffic jam. Oh, my goodness, man. These people never learn. Uh, there's an N41 site like a quarter mile away. Uh, there's apartment complex across the street. There's a apartment complex on this part of the street. The freeway's right here. It's all residential. There's businesses up there. This is a great place to test. Got tower sites everywhere. Got coverage. Got capacity. Let's see how they do. pretty good all right y'all AT&T T-Mobile Verizon As you guys can see, uh, the uplink for at t just is not there. It's just not good here. All right. For at t we got a 28 millisecond ping, one millisecond jitter, 53 down and three up. Everything's cool there except for the uplink. It's a little slow. Here's T-Mobile, 100, uh, 100 megabit per second down, 50 on the up. 52 millisecond ping, 70 millisecond jitter. That's pretty good. Those are all really good numbers. That uplink, very good. Verizon, 73 by 21 with a ping of 25 millisecond, jitter of 3 millisecond. We'll run another test. We'll see how they do here. All right, Verizon finished first, 25 millisecond ping, 10 millisecond jitter. We got 109 on the down and 7.39 on the up. AT&T, 61 down, 3 up, 24 millisecond ping, 24 millisecond jitter. So Verizon doing pretty good there. AT&T doing good except for the uplink. It's kind of slow. And then T-Mobile actually doing the most there with the uplink. 42 on the uplink, 87 on the downlink, 54 millisecond ping, 15 millisecond jitter. Just curious to see if the N41 reaches. And it does not. The N41 does not reach. All right. And the thing about the N41 is we're less than a half a mile away. We are not even that far. Does not reach. Yeah. 
We'll do a fast.com. Why not? Yeah, the uh, the N forty one here has no range, nothing. You know, people tell me it reaches two miles. I can't, I can't get it to reach beyond a half a mile. In this case, we're not, we're a half a mile away. That's your fast dot com. Verizon, nine point seven by eleven. T Mobile, one point three by sixty six. AT&T 54 by 8. AT&T is the best when it comes to video playback. It is the best. Here, I'll show you guys the site. I'll show you guys how far the site is. You should be able to see it once I get up to the spot here. Hold on. Got 5G. Pretty good RSRP there. All connected to mid band PCS. 5G. <laughs> That's right. It's all about the 5G. Now I want to show you guys something, right? You guys see that tall building over there in the background? Once we pass these trees, you guys will see it. See apartments, apartments over there. All right, you see that tall building? It's kind of in the back a little bit there. Uh, this is a bumpy street. Sorry, guys. Should be visible there. That tall building sticking out in the back has the N41. Like I said, we're like a half a mile away. And it does not reach. It does not. We're trying to tell people, man. N41 does not reach. They say it's supposed to reach two miles. It does not over here. I mean, speeds are good, but that is not N41. Sixty miles, dang! <laughs> Y'all got solutions for T-Mobile, huh? Point the antennas down. The optimizations. Why is everybody doing T-Mobile's job for them? Why aren't they doing their job? Right, let's go to another apartment complex. Remove the band-aids. Got the pink dog mafia on the stick. Be on the lookout for some more M41. Even rural N41 I found with the line on the site doesn't reach further than maybe three. Oh, you're lucky to get that much, man. Tell me. And, of course, I'm stuck behind this junkie truck. Y'all just want to get in my way today. Get out of my way. Got a bronze game to go watch, you know what I'm saying? I'm a new sub. How do you guys determine what sites have NR bands? Uh, you can go to, like, um, Signal Check Pro. You can go to the service mode of the phone if you got a Samsung Galaxy. There's a couple different things you can do. The icons tend to lie, so we don't use that as a indicator. <laughs> now, if the carriers were worth something and they were actually honest and transparent about stuff, you know, the icon would mean something. Unfortunately, it just doesn't. 
Yeah, single check pro is good. It'll show you the bands it connects to. Two mobile speed test in case there's some M41 out here. See, like this right here it says T Mobile 5G. All right. What's so 5G about that? All right. What's special about that? You get a 5G icon, don't you? These streets are so bad. Freaking ridiculous. That's the problem with CLE winters, man. They tear up the ground. All the streets are jacked up by the end of the season. Millimeter away from AT&T in San Jose. Insane. It's here. It, it just kind of pops up, man. Millimeter wave, you know. You just got to look around for those nodes. Look on the power poles, street lights, stuff like that. <laughs> I connect a millimeter wave all the time, man, in the CLE. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I, I connect a millimeter wave frequently. All carriers have millimeter wave here. Uh, Verizon has a lot. AT&T's got a lot downtown. They don't really have it anywhere else. Verizon puts it everywhere, but in neighborhoods and stuff. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, T-Mobile's got it in a few places, but there's not much of it. Ravens choke. Yeah. Yeah, Buffalo beat them down pretty good yesterday, man. That defense from Buffalo was tough yesterday. Thirty-nine minutes to kick off, kick off. Oh man! All right, I'm gonna give you guys a nice little capacity test. There's a couple of apartment complexes here. There's a couple of stores. There's some homes. A bunch of businesses. There's a pharmacy. There's a car dealer. There's a rental car spot. All right, this is a pretty nice place to test capacity. Wouldn't you say? All right, y'all. All right, well, let's do a test here. All right. All right, Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. Thanks, DK, appreciate you. All right, Verizon finished first, 27 millisecond ping, 6 millisecond jitter, 544 megabits per second on the down, 10 megabits per second on the up. Right, let's see what this is. So you asked what was the fastest speed I ever saw on LTE? There it is. That's the fastest LTE speed I've ever seen, 544. That's not CBRS, actually. Or it might be CBRS. Uh, it could be... Um, LA, I forget what this site is. CBRS, band 48. 20 by 20 by 20 by 5. Now, because it's LTE, we're still going to get throttled speed. See, so we only get 10 megabits per second on the downlink. We'll run another test here. All right, T-Mobile got 27 by 17. 
65 millisecond ping, 17 millisecond jitter. Not bad, but not great. The uplink's good. The downlink's a little bit on the slower side, but it's not bad. It's fine. All right. AT&T, 28 millisecond ping, 1 millisecond jitter, 41 by 5. Uplink here is not great from AT&T. That's the fastest LT speed I've ever seen. 567 down. 2.84 on the up. I have no idea what's going on with that uplink there. That's Verizon. That's CBRS. That's band 48, y'all. Three carry aggregation, band 48. 20 by 20 by 20, and then 5 megahertz of band 2. Oh, it's four carry aggregation because of the, the uplink there. Hmm. Pretty impressive, right? That's right, Josh. Yep, that uplink, that's the best we're going to do. The 5 megahertz. Yeah, the Browns are going to beat the Chiefs. Fat, yep, these are the fastest uh, LT downlinks I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Pretty impressive. You can see why they put it here, though, with all this traffic over here all right we're gonna test one more apartment complex now the problem with cbrs is low power so it's not really gonna not gonna translate to far distances. I think the maximum anybody's getting out of it's about a mile. I was able to get a mile in like the rural setting. Real tall tower site, no obstructions, that's probably the best you could do. Probably. Man, these streets are jacked up, man. Cleveland winners, dog. Need more power. You know, I'm lying, man. CBRS would be so much better at high power. I don't know. I think they have trouble with interference and some other applications. Something's going on there. Might just need to do some guard band action, and then they might be able to pull it off. Oh, there's a ton of antennas up there. Oh, looks like maybe a millimeter wave antenna. Maybe. Looks smart. All right, y'all. This is a good spot to test. All right, so we're in this huge plaza. There's apartment complexes south, there's apartment complexes north, there's apartment complexes west. Yep, apartment special. We got a Home Depot, we got a shopping center, a movie theater, which nobody's probably in. But we got antennas everywhere. So let's go ahead and test. Sheesh. Okay, now I want to show you guys something. Those antennas are pointed at the apartments. So the apartments are actually over there. All right, so we'll go over there and test that in case it's like a super directional situation because I only see low band up here. Anyways, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon. Let's see how they do. Looks like Verizon's struggling. T-Mobile's doing good. AT&T is doing good. 
Oh, the congestion is real, man. Everybody's on Verizon here. 37 ping, 2 millisecond jitter, 7 on the down, 15, 16 on the up. T-Mobile 119 by 35, 55 millisecond ping, 35 millisecond jitter. The ping and the jitter is always bad on T-Mobile here for whatever reason. AT&T, pretty good. 86 down, 9 up, 27 ping, 1 millisecond jitter. You want me to try Verizon LTE? Uh, maybe I'm being deprived or something. Looks like the airplane mode helped a little bit. <laughs> Get me off the deep rile. Try CDMA. This is Verizon. 20 millisecond ping. 5 millisecond jitter. 22 on the down. Uh, it looks like we're getting about 10 or 11 megabits per second on the up. All right, let's see what we're connected to on T-Mobile here. Three carriers. We are connected to NR. N71. You guys can see that large antenna up there. That's the N71. Uh, what I want to do, actually, is I want to go over to the apartments and see that set of antennas that's pointed over there. I want to see how that does. I'm curious to see how much better it is over on that side. I don't see any antennas pointing over here. Yeah, apartments are tough, man. They need a lot of capacity. But all those units, all those people in there. Uh, so I should be should be good. I'm just gonna turn around so I can drive out of here easier. All right, so the antennas pointed over here look like mid-band antennas. I'll show you guys here. Uh, okay. If you guys can see them from here. Looks like the, there's some smaller antennas on that side. There's some back there behind those trees, too. So, I don't know. Let's see if anything changes here. Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. Yeah, this, this net, these networks are pretty bogged down over here from these apartments. Apartments, 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 they're everywhere. All of them are holding up. None of that's going to be an issue. The T-Mobile one, the most capacity, oh, it looks like AT&T did faster this time, so. That's really good, though. 75 by 35 is very good. That's good, too. 84 by 10. The Verizon one a little bit congested. It's 10 by 11. So, can't lie. Not, not, much, not much room to give. Let's see all the apartments, guys. This stretches all the way down the street. And on the left side. All apartments. So far, all the carriers are holding up. I mean, they're all serviceable. They're all, they're all good. Here's some apartments over here. A lot of capacity needed.
Verizon definitely congested. Wonder if I'm doing B and D proud. I guess so. Let's see. Yeah, too many people on Verizon here. Not enough spectrum. T-Mobile fine, AT&T fine. Verizon a little congested. I'm jealous. People show me like all types of N41 speed test getting 700 megs, man. I wish. <laughs> not here. And people show me some really fast Verizon speeds. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, you can see it can get congested at times. No, nah, nah, no celebrating 5 megahertz channels, Ron. Don't do it. No. Bad, Ron. Don't do it, Ron. <laughs> oh, man. I forget them skinny channels, dog. Hey, Sean, what's up? Good to see you, man. Run another speed test while we're sitting here. Snowy Cleveland day. Must be congestion. Yeah. No, we got congestion here in the CLE. It's two problems. Verizon doesn't have a lot of spectrum. The other two have more. And then Verizon has the most customers here. So recipe for disaster. All right. So here, I just did another speed test. Verizon on the right, T-Mobile in the middle, and AT&T on the left. Too many people have Verizon here. That's my old middle school, y'all. Yeah, young Sneed was getting it in. AT&T, 99 by 10. T-Mobile, 67 by 33. Verizon, 70 by 20. Those are really good. Carrier's doing pretty good over here. Good work. Good work. Good work, Carriers. Good work, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Nice job. That's right, Brandon. Yeah. About to go like 100 miles an hour through this residence. <laughs> now, that wouldn't be very nice. That'd be very dangerous. Don't speed. To all the kids out there, public service announcement. Obey all speed limits. All posted signage to exercise safety. at and is really good, man. That 99 downlink, excellent. Carrier's doing pretty good over here. I ain't going to lie, man. You can have any carrier you want in the CLE. Based on coverage, based on speeds, they all hold up pretty good. Uh, the uplink on at and leaves a lot to be desired. The downlink on Verizon can be a little touchy during times of congestion. We're going to test one more site, guys.
uh, probably about a mile and a quarter away. When's the Browns game? What time does it start? Like 3.15 or something? Drive me to go live. What's up, Lino? How you doing? Game at 3.15? Nice. That gives me a little time. Now Verizon uploads are good here, man. All I do, the only the only live streaming I do is on Verizon. AT&T, the uplink's a little low, usually. And T-Mobile does not live stream well here. I know the speeds look good, but can't be trusted. It's failed many a times on me. Maybe I'll test that pretty soon. It's been a while since I tested it. Browns game is listed for three oh five. Really? I gotta get I gotta get where I need to go, man. Browns game. Yeah. Yeah, the uh for live streaming I can't really count on T Mobile in the past. Maybe I'll try that again sometime soon. Oh, you guys want me to do that? Next week I'll do the live stream from T Mobile. I don't know, man. Based on my previous testing, it was a nightmare, dude. Total nightmare. All right, one more apartment building to test. We're like a half mile away. Actually, there's uh, three sets of apartments here. All right, so here's one. We're going to test them in this area. All right, there's one apartment complex here. You guys will see it to my left. Yeah, dog. Yeah. All right, so back there's one. Up here to my left again, here's another one. There's another set of apartments. Actually, no, that's senior living. The apartment complex is up here. Remington. All right. Yep, here it is. And then there's another one right here. Apartment complex there. Then there's two more up there. This is the perfect place to test. All right. There's an overpass here for the freeway. I'll pull into the parking lot of the church because apparently nobody goes to church anymore. They just watch NFL football. All right, let's go ahead and let's test. You guys can see the freeway there. Verizon to my right. T-Mobile in the middle. And then AT&T on the left. Oh, the carrier's really flexing over here. Look at that. Look at that. Carriers look excellent here. Ninety-eight down, thirty-eight up. 33 millisecond ping, 1 millisecond jitter for Verizon. T-Mobile, 98 down, 38 up. 57 ping, 7 millisecond jitter. AT&T, 112 down, 6 up. 28 millisecond ping, 1 millisecond jitter. Go ahead and do another test. Yeah, the DSS isn't bad, bro. The problems are overstated, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not perfect. T-Mobile's dead at the RV park. That's rough. Verizon 103 by 37. T-Mobile 90 by 40. AT&T 105 by 8. Let's see, we're connected to the T-Mobile Band 71. Freaking hate Band 71. All right, 
right, so we got 20 megahertz of fan 66. Going to show everything. Three carry aggregation, four carry aggregation for AT&T. 2030, there's 40 megahertz for AT&T. No, AT&T's upload is not great here. I'm telling you, I, I really only trust Verizon to, to live stream. That's really it. Yeah, I really only trust Verizon. I mean, I could do it with AT&T. I can't lie. Like, 5, 10 megabits is plenty. You can get the job done. I just, I know that Verizon's uplink are better and you know, the speeds are usually 20, 30 megabits on the up. So, hey, Cesar, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Verizon's uplink is the most consistent and fastest and reliable in the CLE. And that matters to me. I know a lot of people don't really care. They're like, oh, you know, who needs all that uplink? I mean, I do. I live stream, uh, I do video calls, I do Zooms, I do, um, you know, I upload YouTube videos on the road, on mobile, you know, so yeah, me, I need uplink, and so do you, I think a lot of people don't realize, how do you get a video, how do you upload a TikTok, you know, how do you do um, an Instagram live, you know, uh, you need uplink to do all that stuff, Facebook live, YouTube live. We'll do one more test for you guys, and then uh, what's in the brownies? One more test for you guys. Last test, guys. Verizon on the right. T-Mobile in the middle, AT&T on the left. Oh, yeah, I can appreciate the lower ping. I'm telling you, man, that Verizon uplink, absolutely tremendous. We got Verizon LTE, 23 millisecond ping, 135 down, 45 up. T-Mobile, 57 millisecond ping, 4 millisecond jitter, 124 down, 19 up. AT&T, 13 millisecond ping, that's really good. 71 down, 11 up. I just reset all the connections. You never know. That is on LTE. Verizon 49 by 45. Forty nine by three on AT and T. Thirty two by eleven on T Mobile. Wonder why the speeds dropped so much. They literally got cut in half or less. Yeah, everybody's doing that now. It's the amount of spectrum that's there. For uplink. Verizon really fast over here. Yeah, uplink's good. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in to watch this edition of Speed with Need. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give you guys a snapshot of capacity around some apartment buildings here in the CLE. All the carriers held up pretty good. 
Verizon was congested at times. Uh, you could see that N41 doesn't really reach past a half a mile. Really doesn't. The undisputed people's champ. Uh, they're all pretty good. So here's my assessment, Lavendi. AT&T's downlink is always really good. Usually the uplink, I don't know. It's just not great here. But it's very fast and capacitive. I love the video resolution from AT&T. T-Mobile's got a lot of speed. It's fast, a lot of capacity. Uh, you know, but I can't trust the uplink because of the live streaming, but it tests really fast. And uh, Verizon, Verizon was, they were all really good today. I can't lie. They were all really good. I don't know if there's a champion. They all did some good things, but anyway, uh, I'm going to make Verizon the champ for holding on the live stream today. How's that? <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Do me a solid. Before you go, please X out of the live chat and give this video a like, share it to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you share your videos. You know, thank you for doing that. I appreciate you guys. Um, give it a like, thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button. Go Brownies, hashtag Mod Squad, hashtag Ravioli Gang, hashtag Replay Crew, hashtag Two Live Crew, hashtag Mod Squad. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for being here, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.